This is my Mitsubishi Eclipse GST build. From my last video, I got the car pushed back into the garage and jacked up, getting it ready to put the rebuilt engine in it. The car's still pretty dirty, but I want to get the engine running first before I start working on any of the paint or the interior. I'm currently working on the engine block parts. I just got the block back from Scotty's Racing Technologies, the machine shop. So I'm going to start taking a look at everything, figure out what kind of work I need to do to get this thing back together. I'm really wanting to get it running and driving in a couple of weeks. There is a, an event, Cletus and Cars, that I'm hoping to get it running and driving for because after that, I'm not going to have a lot of time to work on it again. So I have to have it running and driving by then or I won't be able to touch it for like another six months to a year. With my current schedule it makes it very difficult to get any kind of editing done and mechanic work done so I'll probably be stopping and focusing on getting the videos done before I make too much more footage. Got into an accident and lost my mirror. I still haven't fixed that and the fender's still a little dented in with a nice little rat hole. The engine bay has been tucked a little bit before, but it's pretty dirty, and I still need to scrub things down. Lots of different stuff on the back firewall. But the engine block I just got back, so I just unwrapped it, and I'm going to try to put it on an engine stand. Without anything in this engine block, it actually is relatively easy to manage. I'm still trying not to scar the end of my tailgate or stain my shirt. So here's the block. They cleaned it and went through everything to make sure that it wasn't damaged. He did hone the cylinders, but they weren't cut. You can still see some gouging from the piston rings, but it should be good to go and it should seal just fine. As far as the crank, you can tell that they cut it and polished it. The rods were heavily worn, so they had to cut those to 20 thousandths. And the main bearings were, weren't were as bad, but they did have some wear, so they had to cut those to 10 thousandths. The pistons, as you can tell, are filthy. Uh, all the other parts are filthy. The balance shafts are out. The front cover needs to be gone through. As far as the pistons, uh, looking at them right now, they're pretty bad. The carbon on top is really deep, so I'm going to have to soak them and try to get them out. There is a gouge on the top of this piston. Pretty much all of this stuff could potentially cause detonation, could cause extra problems, could cause it to pull timing, and could lose power. But I really don't have enough money to get this going for another four or 500 bucks, so I'm going to just try to clean these pistons up and see if I can reuse them for the time being. So I'm going to put the pistons in some mineral spirits and I'm gonna let them soak for a few days. The pistons have been soaking for a few days so I'm gonna try to scrub off the top of the carbon as best as I can. I'm gonna inspect the pistons and see if I can get the carbon off of the top of the pistons. So I wonder if I blow air into these if I can blow it out or is there a way that I could simply see like the fact that over here it moves a little faster and then slower it probably is oblong. This is what I'm talking about. So what did you soak it in? So I put mineral spirits, like a gallon of it, in here. And this has been soaking for like three days. So there's not a way for you to pull that out and look at it? Pull this pin out? Yeah. No, I think you have to heat it to get it to, to swell. Because I don't see any snap rings that hold the wrist pin in. Yeah. That's all I can think of. I would have to Google it. Oh, no. So then whatever the bind is in, is in the, this one, look at how flimsy that right. is to a fault. And I was hoping to be able to get the carbon off of here, but I'm going to have to do a lot of work to get that off, it looks like. Yeah, probably not worth it. 
Yeah, definitely. I would say definitely not worth it as far as carbon's concerned because it's not that bad, and you're gonna run it for like you said three thousand before you end up having to put new pistons in it anyways. There's gotta be a way to get it off though. Yeah, heat. So you're saying that I should run the carbon? Uh... I'm saying that it's there's not a lot of carbon build up there. You saw my piston. There, were there was pistons. as much carbon on that after 3,000 miles on that brand new engine. so much rusty like crusty yeah, yeah so that's the bad part and look it's like falling on the floor now oh i gotta clean that up somewhat but um overall i think it's still gonna be pretty nasty we're yeah, just gonna how exactly to wash you go it. about cleaning that well i mean realistically i probably should have done something before i gave it to the machine shop to clean and as well as probably do these bearings but um i uh should use like PB you know, blaster. Yeah, some <laughs> kind of uh, bla like um, stuff to put in all of these holes, and then just like put the block upside down, and basically let it soak for hours. So yeah. maybe even like muriatic acid or something. Okay. Cause look at like, like right there, it's like falling out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of gross, but um. I'm thinking that uh, we're going to give it 3,000 miles. Oh so, my gosh. And we're just going to tear it back apart because I'm going to have to redo everything with new pistons anyways because hopefully I'm at my next power level. Mm. So what do you think about that? I would say just clean it first. <laughs> how am I going to clean it now? How do I know? You already explained how you're going to clean it now. Yeah, with hours now. So because of all the rust in the engine block, I think I'm going to try to use muriatic acid to dissolve it and then rinse it out with water. But I got to pull this engine block outside because I don't want any of the fumes to be inhaled. So now I'm going to let this soak for just a little bit and also try to contain the muriatic acid and not let it get inside or get on anything and ruin it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, dislike. Tell me what you think. Stay tuned for my next video. I hope to show you guys a lot more interesting stuff other than this boring car content. Have a great night. Talk to you later. Bye. And uh, obviously I'm going to have to call it a night because this is done now. So it was a very productive day. So I'd say today was uh, very successful. I got a lot, lot, lot done. I, uh, all the pistons ready to go. I got the uh, block ready to go. The uh, block was pretty bad with rust inside.
it, so that should be pretty good now. So I'm not really concerned um, that the coolant system should be a problem. I still gotta clean the um, oil pump, and then I gotta assemble the block, check all of the clearances, and uh, oil everything up, clean it, that kind of thing. So it'll be a more eventful day tomorrow as well, and uh, we'll see how that goes.